Demi-loon, or semi-circular buns in English, are a simple and multi-purpose water harvesting technique. They were introduced into West Africa in the 1980s and showed promise. Amongst other reasons, the concept was easy to understand. Abu Bakr Abdu was a project manager in Niger during the early days. And the gamme of techniques we propose to the population are des techniques simple. The techniques we suggest are simple ones, which farmers understand quickly. Handling the equipment and carrying out different techniques is well within farmers' capability. And furthermore, farmers found it stimulating to work in groups. Demiloon construction followed a simple sequence. First, a contour was laid out with a water tube level. Then an A-frame was swung around to mark a semicircle with the tips on the contour. The crust was broken and soil dug out. Manure was added to fertilize the land. Then grass seed was sown. And when it rained, runoff was captured from the barren catchments and concentrated in the demi-loon. Here it slowly soaked into the soil, providing ideal growing conditions for the grass. Twenty years ago, Binta Shefu testified to the remarkable transformation. The land had nothing on it. It was useless, but it's been used after completing the project. We're happy now that our livestock have got grass. And two decades later, Binta Shefu remained convinced. The demi lune have proved very beneficial. Many people are no longer hungry. Everyone is happy. We can easily rear our animals, and even the trees bring us money. All of us are benefiting. Water harvesting through Demi Loon has helped to restore biodiversity in this area. Where plant life had been effectively extinguished with the droughts of the 1970s. Abu Bakr Abdu also looks back with satisfaction. Well, I have to say, I'm very pleased to see the adoption that has occurred over the last 20 years. There is total acceptance by the land users of these techniques. It's characteristic of technologies in the Sahel that they can spread quickly from one country to another. Niger learned how to improve its Tassa planting pits through a cross-visit to Burkina Faso taking the skills back home. And in turn, farmers from Burkina Faso have gained knowledge about Demiloon from their neighbours. Now we can see Demiloon taking root in the central plateau of Burkina Faso. Uremo Wadrogo has learnt the technique, and he teaches others too. The method of construction and design may differ in minor details, but the principle is exactly the same. Burema tells us how his interest in Demiloon came about and points out one important constraint. I began to reclaim this land in 2006 and the project Rizo Map came along again to show us a new technique. That's the demi lune And five years later, it's clear that this can build up the capacity of our soils. Of course, there are constraints. We have a problem with the availability of fertilizers. 
Naturally, we've got manure and compost, but we really need inorganic fertilizer too. Here in Burkina Faso, we see damiloon being used for crop production. In Niger, the same has happened too. Damiloon are versatile. They also encourage the germination and support the establishment of local tree species. These seedlings are welcomed and nurtured by land users. It's called farmer-managed natural regeneration. Damiloon have been eagerly adopted by farmers in parts of the Sahel. Like stone lines and Zai planting pits, they're simple to construct and affordable. They're adaptable too. The size of structures and catchments can be modified by land users, and no stone is required for construction. Above all, they function well and can be used for crops, grass or trees. It can even be said that Damiloon has become a brand name in the Sahel for an effective and sustainable water harvesting technology.